So a little, little more detail about reflex itself. So there is no clear evidence which shows this because the studies have looked at the pH uh, electrode related changes with the apneic episode changes and they have not found any correlation. The same way the treatment causing a benefit has not been shown as well. However, as I said, there is physiologic plausibility that the laryngeal chemoreflex is active in premature babies and we do see bradycardia and apnea following feeds in some babies and when you make changes to the feeding pattern, you do see a clinical response. There are uh, medications which do reduce the symptoms. So it has a physiologic possibility, but for the reasons I explained earlier, we shouldn't uh, rush to treat uh, these episodes, control them in as physiologic way as possible and uh, individualize the management. So avoid uh, the proton pump inhibitors or any medicines like that. Ranitidine is of course withdrawn. And uh, we have uh, domperidone, for example, which can be used in very, very remote situations. Infant Gaviscon should not be used in the very tiny babies as well. So we have some uh, benefit from those in very, very limited cases. So very individualized management, use it for the minimum possible period only after all the other measures have failed. And uh, believe me, we had uh, prolonged usage in my unit in UK, and then we decided that we shouldn't use it. And we... Uh, tried to hold on and it disappeared from our practice. So it's more a habit more than a necessity. <laughs>